So we've actually discussed in the past several different types of UNSC frigates, but I figured today we'll take a look at one of my personal favorite frigates within the Halo universe, the Paris class heavy frigate used by the UNSC during the Human Covenant War. I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to head down below and hit that subscribe button. Now, the UNSC used a wide variety of frigates during the course of the Human Covenant War, which is surprising to a lot of people. They all look very similar, and a lot of people seem to chalk them up to differences in the way the games decided to depict similar vessels. But in reality, there are actually several different classes of frigates utilized by the UNSC during that time frame. So, in the past, we've covered a few of them, but today we're going to focus on one of my favorites, the Paris-class Heavy Frigate. The Paris-class Heavy Frigate, like other frigates within the UNSC Navy, was designed by Synoviet Heavy Engineering and was designed to fill a very particular role. It was designed specifically for the Fleet Escort role. To make it more effective at this role, the vessel was sort of slimmed down, but then more heavily armored compared to other frigates. This meant that it lost things like the large cargo bay and the large hangar bay, which are present on the later variants that we see in Halo 2 and 3. When it comes to armament, the primary weapon on board a Paris-class heavy frigate is, like most UNSC vessels, its magnetic accelerator cannon. The Paris-class was armed with a 65 P8 V1 magnetic accelerator cannon, a single cannon, designed for ship-to-ship -ship engagements. However, we do see it used at least once in atmosphere, which is one of the very few instances where we see a ship-based magnetic accelerator cannon used within the atmosphere of a planet. On top of that, the Paris class sports three M2475 Shiva nuclear missile silos designed for, once again, ship-to-ship -ship engagements, although those could be used in ship-to-surface engagements as well as well as 26 M58 Archer missile pods. These are a major weapon for ship-to-ship -ship engagements, as well as engaging smaller targets like Seraphs and Ghosts. 12 M870 Rampart Point Defense Cannons. These are used for broadside attacks against other vessels. 12 M2950 Harpoon Nuclear Missile Silos and a robust system of point defense cannons to protect the vessel against incoming projectiles. All in all, this left the Paris class as one of the more heavily armed variants of the UNSC frigate. But like I mentioned, that armament doesn't come without a cost. Its complement of vehicles was far smaller than other vessels, only being able to carry four Pelican dropships, two long swords, and 25 Soyev pods for dropping ODSTs into combat which, like I mentioned, is quite a bit smaller than other vessels. And it had to do away with a lot of the features that we see on other variants of the UNSC frigate. Things like heavy hangar bays and, and loading doors to easily unload troops. After all, though, this vessel was designed primarily for ship-to-ship -ship combat. As such, its marine complement is quite a bit smaller, too, only carrying just over 225 marines on board. Within this class, we know of a few vessels, the UNSC Cascadia, which participated in search and rescue operations in 2556 after the end of the war, the UNSC Commonwealth, which participated in the Battle of Chai Seti IV during the Human Covenant War before being scrapped on Reach, which it was actually in the process of being dismantled during the Covenant invasion of that planet, the UNSC Gettysburg, which was part of the fleet defending Reach, and while it was heavily damaged, it was able to slip away and return to Earth, where it was salvaged and returned to service, the UNSC Grafton also participated in the Battle of Reach, although its fate beyond that battle is not known, the UNSC Paris, which was part of the home fleet defending Earth during the Battle of Earth when the Prophet of Regret's fleet arrived. The UNSC Promise of Dawn, which was present at the Battle of Reach but went missing shortly after and was found destroyed after the end of the war. The UNSC Saratoga, which, like many of the other ships on this list, was also part of the fleet defending Reach and its fate is not known after that. And last but not least, the one that many of you are probably familiar with, the UNSC Savannah, which is the Paris-class frigate that we borrowed the slip space drive from to carry out the raid on the Covenant supercarrier during the events of Reach. And for those of you who may have forgotten, Savannah was destroyed during that engagement. So we see the Paris in a lot of places during the later years of the Human Covenant War, and it really does play a pretty significant role, particularly in the Battle of Reach, but all across the conflict especially during the later years. But it's not the only UNSC frigate type that we see on screen. Another big one that we see, particularly in Halo 3, is the Sharon class. And if you'd like to learn more about the Sharon class UNSC frigate, I'll leave a link up here to my video on that. 
and I'd like you to let me know down in the comments whether you think it makes sense for the Paris class, a ship-to-ship -ship frigate, to still carry a complement of almost 225 marines. Do you think it makes sense for them to carry pelicans and other dropships, or should they really be stripped down to the bare bones, covered in armor, and given mostly weapons? And if you have anything else you'd like to see me cover in Halo, leave it down below in the comments. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.